Hi, this is Sahara playing Abaddon 3 The Warborn, and we are still in the, um, in the dungeons. We just got up to the deep cells on our way to the Black Fortress. When we were, um, getting close to the stairs to come up to the deep cells, that letter that, um, the letter that Redbeard had given us that had nothing on it about what he needed, suddenly showed that we needed to free Ilara from the dungeon. So that's going to be one of our quests we have to do for Redbeard. We finally reached the main floor of the dungeons. There is a network of cells just ahead, full of prisoners fresh from the front. Guard pat guards patrol everywhere looking for signs of unrest. Lots of shouting and complaining. These cells are high security. They've been reserved for the most dangerous and valuable prisoners. The people here go to the front of the line for intense magic-aided interrogation. So I still don't understand why Ayalera is now in the dungeons. She was the one that um, was, was set up. She was assigned to um, set up the defenses for Abaddon. And now she's in... I don't know, I just don't get it. Now she's in the dungeons. And the dungeons are huge. They are huge. Now this will probably be several episodes. And I remember some of them I tried to get into and I got killed as soon as I opened the door. So I'm going to have to start saving every time I try to open the door. Nope, don't have the key. This one's empty. One of the key. Um, it'll take one. I've only got seven. Is it worth it? There's nothing here. There is nothing here. Why would they have me come into a room that there's nothing? All right. I'll restart that one because that wasn't worth it. All right. Oh, an ornate bowl. I was told by Heart Protus not to, or I'm sorry, Acting Keeper Protus not to steal anything. Well, if it doesn't have a name on it or doesn't say NY, it's in my pocket. Okay, this is where I came up at. This should go to the interrogation area. It is on boy. And who are you, on boy? Ba Brasula? Brasula. There is a tall, yeah, she's been in the first two. There is a tall Taiwani woman sitting at this table. Once she was an elegant noble woman, and the ratty dress was originally fantastically expensive. Then she spent years down in this dungeon, and it's worn her down. Now, she is sitting at this table, skinny and shaking. She is surrounded by piles of paper. She's writing letters in a shaky hand. When you approach, she stands and bows. Greetings, Hand of Abaddon. I am Anboy An Brasula. I am from the Taiwan, but I mean no harm to the pact. I promise it truly. Yes, she was always down in the guest quarters that was under the dining halls. And she ended up, they just kept her as a prisoner there. They really did. Yeah, it was sad. You could see her deterioration from Abaddon 1 to Abaddon 2. She just ended up being um, a wino. And now she's in the prison. Now she's in the dungeons. Poor girl. You are from the Taiwan? I am. Her eyes grow distant. I haven't been there for many years. It's hard to remember things. I haven't left Abaddon since the age of chaos began. So I'd like to know more about your land. I'm sorry, Hand. I haven't been there for so long. I don't know what I can say. I don't know what the war was. What the war has done. It's a beautiful country, though. 
I um, so, feel so sorry for her. You are, are you a prisoner here? She sits down her pin for a moment and rubs her hand. She looks very small and old. A prisoner? I'm... I'm not sure. They put me here. I'm a hostage, I think. They put me here. Questioned me when the age of chaos began. They had the... We write letters. That's what I've been doing. Yeah, she was a hostage before. You're a hostage? I think so. I don't think they'll let me leave. I live here. I was in a nice cell. Then monsters took it over. I adjust. What crime did you commit? I... I'm not sure. Red Bear sent me here. I'm a Taiwani. You're at war with us and... That might be all. Her words are barely a whisper. Whatever the reason was, I'm sure it's just. So when will you be freed? Acting Keeper Protus came here to see me personally. He said that I could go home when the Taiwan Empire surrenders. That's why I write the letters. I'm helping. What do you think of Acting Keeper Protus? She shudders. He has been kind to me. I think he will be just. Please don't make me say more. I don't make... I can't make anyone here angry. Well, obviously she doesn't like him if he makes her shudder. So what are you doing with all those letters? They are addressed to people in the Taiwan, merchants and lords, anyone with wealth or influence. I am urging them to make peace with the pact. I was a noble once. My family is known. I might have some influence. Does it work? I don't know. I'm not told what's happening in the Taiwan. I think the letters arrive. Do your people think you're a traitor? I... Yes. Yes, I'm sure they do. I'm not given any messages from them, but I think that is probably a mercy. If the war ends and they execute me, at least it will be at home. How are your letters delivered? Hands come from before, come, hands come by before they go northeast. I say where the letters go, and they take them. Abaddon's agents are everywhere, except she holds up one scroll and shows it to you. This is going to a band of raiders camped near the temple of Belusa. Dozens of hands have looked at it. None, none have taken it. Could you take this copy in case you're sent there? I can write another in case you can't. Sure, I can take the letter. She gives it to you with a trembling hand. It's the temple of Elusa. The raiders' camp is somewhere nearby. That is what the eyes told me. Just deliver it. Maybe the temple can tell you where the raiders are. Thank you, Han. If you help me, it will please my keepers. Oh, I feel so sorry for her. I think that was all. Yep. So now I got a mission, despair in the dark. This has just a, been a roller coaster of emotions for me for this game. It's been up and down. I, I have really felt sorry for so many of the people, things that have happened. <sighs> I don't know. It's, it's just strange. This book is for the taking in notes during interrogations. The sheets of the journal are close, are dense with names, dates, and lists of questions and answers. None of the records seem relevant to your current work. And that's what they said last time we came through here. So I wonder if that one lady's here. Nope, she's not. The interrogator. Doesn't say not take. I'm taking it. Oops, was well, that just a scroll or oh, it was a piece of paper? I don't know. I, Inquisitor, how long? She lived, calm down. Where is she hiding? Yes. Prisoner of Abaddon, where did he go? He is dead. And who is this? Oh, I need some eyes. Oh, this is I Live On. Yep, she's the one that was in Abaddon too. You meet the most terrifying woman in Leonese. She doesn't need to in introduce herself. She is I Levine, chief interrogator and master of the Abaddon dungeons. Happily, she is in a good mood. She is very busy. Prisoners are being brought in and tied to stone tables. Le Levon's trained eyes use spells to peer into their minds. The prisoners moan, shudder, and submit 
cement. It is a disturbing sight. You look away. The eye notices you and starts to walk over. Then you hear screaming. An ogre being secured to a table has broken loose. Punched a young sage in the face and made a run for it. Guards are hanging from him, trying to slow him down. I'll help. As you run up to the ogre, several of the guards pull truncheons from their belts. The result is sudden, dramatic, and gruesome. You deliver a few well-placed kicks and punches. The unconscious ogre is brought to the table and secured. Levon walks up to you, not wasting time with introductions. You are Sahara, yes? I was told you'd be passing through. I'm Levon. Welcome to Abaddon. Keep moving. Don't bother the prisoners. I don't need any escapes. Sorry, my TV turned on by its own. So, hi, ass up, you ghosties roaming around in my apartment. Okay, so keep moving. Don't bother the prisoners. I don't need any escapes. Who were you just wrestling? She looks over at the ogre, who is slowly regaining consciousness, and I prepares some pacification spells. Soon the ogre will be eager to say everything he knows about everything. Levon says he was just brought from Gold Rag. Gold? Gold Rag? Yeah. Oh, Gold Crag. There's a lasting... There's a lasting stalemate there. We'll, we'll find out if the Wellborn has... Or the Warborn has weaknesses in their defenses. Then we'll take him back to Gold Craig and dump him there. What is this place? This is our interrogation hall. Prisoners are brought here for questioning. It's small and dirty, and we don't have near enough capacity for the need. Still, we do what we can. Who brings the prisoners to you? You do. Brave hands, out in hostile lands. The prisoners you bring are treasures. They are weapons that point at the heart of the enemy. Who is in charge here? Oh, come on. Me. Happily, I need to do little. I get the best of the eyes and I train them well. Okay. So you are the interrogator. Sometimes, prisoners are only honored by my direct attention if they are really tough. I mainly watch over my underlings. I train them. And they, are good as, they are good at questioning. And how does it work? First, we secure the prisoner. Then a series of spells are cast, weakening resistance and softening the mind. Soon, they say everything they know. They know they are betraying everything they love, and they can't help it. It is horrible for them. Yeah, that is kind of harsh. Of course, they deserve it. They are enemies of the pact. Can anyone do it? Levon is offended. Of course not. The mind is incredibly delicate. To, sub su su to subjugate it utterly... Requires patience and a delicate touch. No clubsy hedge witch can, wizard can do our work. Does it affect the prisoners permanently? Yes, they're always a bit slow and confused afterwards. Functional but fuzzy. However, I don't always think it's the treatment that does it. I think it's just being overwhelmed by shame because they totally betrayed anyone and anything they ever loved. Yeah, look what happened to poor Kaleida. Does anyone ever resist? All the time. They always are broken eventually. We do have limits though. For example, example, we recently found that we can't break infernals. We were bought one named Pin... Pinic... Pinkina? We couldn't affect it at all. We had to store it in the central cave. Okay, interesting. Well, the central cave is where the dragon... There was a dragon there at one time. Oh, the one that got healed up. Okay. Um, I need some information. I'm sure you do. I Marona is the best guide for visitors. You can find him in the intake hall to the west. She returns to her work. More prisoners come from the war every day. And so I Marona is still he is still there. I Inquisitor. This eye is concentrating on the prisoner on this table. You watch the interrogation. The eye is causing, casting a long series of fast, precise spells designed to break down the resistance of the prisoner. The prisoner has broken a little. A few questions are answered, maybe accurately. Ah, oh, sad. Here's another one. They're doing the same thing, I'm sure. This prisoner is, okay, this prisoner exhausted and non-responsive. The session will probably need to end soon. 
I'm sure this is going to tell me the same thing. Yep. So I, Lovana is still there. Probably need to end soon. Um, this prisoner is chained to the table and being questioned. The eye waves you away. The process is delicate and you could easily mess it up. Yeah. Oh, and this is an ogre. Yep. Okay, so this goes to this area. This goes to the main area here. This is um where I'm Arona. This takes us up to, if I remember right, this takes us up to, yep, it does. Now it will take us upstairs to the actual Black Fortress, to the storeroom area. Okay, Dungeon Eye. Talk to Marona. Mom, I'm sorry, Mamora. See, none of these have. That's odd. Take your vase for 40 coins. I know I won't get that amount for it. Prisoner of Abaddon, Prisoner of Abaddon. Okay. Let's talk to I Mamora. He looks exactly the same. This hall is very busy. It's crammed with prison guards, eyes, prisoners, and the occasional wild beast in chains. Workers haul piles of, con of construction materials. Yet in all the chaos, it's immediately clear who is in charge. The, the eye in command stops what he is doing and walks up to you. He is an aging man with a thick leather jerkin and a broadsword hanging from his belt. You doubt that the weapon has seen any actual use for decades. I think they said that the last time. He gives you a reassuring smile, practiced by years of welcoming the doomed to the dungeons. Welcome, Han. I am I am Mamora. I am the prison. I run the prison. We are restoring it now, after years of neglect, and I could use help. Um, my name is Sahara. I'm new to Abaddon. Mamora nods. Poltra sent a message, said you'd probably be coming to me, told me to help you. The acting keeper asked me to give you a warm greeting, make a good impression. I do what the keeper says. So tell me about the prison. When our hands take valuable prisoners, they are brought here. We extract all valuable information and then send the prisoners away. This is one of the greatest sources of valuable intelligence for all of the pact. When we have repaired everything, it will be even greater. So how do you extract information? Powerful, mind-shredding magic. You should ask I, Levon. She gets angry when I try to explain it. How many prisoners are here now? Let me think. He pauses for about two seconds. 183 humans and warborn. A handful of beasts. Also one infernal, annoyingly enough. How long are prisoners kept here? I, Memora, is interrupted by the need to sign for a wagon load of bricks. Then he continues. It depends on how long they stay useful. Most are gone one way or another within a month. Okay, I'm sorry. Most are gone one way or another within a month. They all show up thinking they can resist us. So strong, the Barlanders. He chuckles. Nobody can beat Levon's spells. Nobody. Are prisoners, prisoners ever executed? Yes, but very rarely. Once we break them, we like to send them home. They become walking lessons about the power of Abaddon. And that is true. Um, there's a lot of construction going on. I'm a Morris steps back. Wretches walk by, bent under a delivery of chairs. There has to be. The war generates more valuable prisoners than we can process, so we are trying to increase capacity. Alas, the dungeons were allowed to decay. We have a lot of repairs to do. Happily, we have the gold now. And how did things decay so much? Hanbar's council was not fond of Redbeard. Actually, they hated him. They stopped giving us gold, so we stopped being able to keep up with repairs. And how did you get all that new gold? I'm a more gets nervous. It's subtle, but it's there. Hanbar's council made a deal with Acting Keeper Potus. The result was that he that we can afford repairs at last. We are grateful. So what do you think of Acting Keeper Protus? And what did he promise him? Hmm. Mm, I do all my work in the basement. I am too busy to have opinions about Acting Keeper Protus or Redbeard or any of that. 
He's lying, but you understand it. He doesn't want to end up a resident of his own dungeon. Which I don't blame him for that either. You see, um, you see that you need some help. I'm a Mora nods eagerly. We need hands desperately, but they're all kept busy by war. You're walking through as he struck a luck for us. The lower sills are full of pests and escaped wretches. We need someone armed to go down there and clear out the burnum. Especially the wretches. They're cunning and they make tunnels. Destroy them. I have your proper budget for giving rewards. So, I just came from down there and I didn't see them. How do I get there? Go back down the stairs you came up and head north. There should be giant animals trying to kill you almost immediately. You can sneak past them if you want. I mainly want to be rid of the wretches in the tunnels below that. I'm not sure what I can do. I'm here alone. I sympathize. Happily, there are a few guards downstairs. If you are clever, you might be able to get them to help you. Oh, really? Okay. So I'm looking for someone. Her name is Isla, Isla Lyrera. I'm a Mora gets very serious very quickly. Oh, that is um, unexpected. I Lyrera was the head librarian upstairs. When Potes arrived, she didn't accept his rule. No, it was a guy. It was a guy. I, okay, Isla Rara was in the very first one she got killed. I think maybe the writers got confused on this. Hmm. She was loyal to Redbeard, so she was sent to me, and... Why did you need to see her again? Oh, boy. Um... Hmm. I can't say why I need to see her. I'm Amora starts to shake his head, then he shrugs. Potra said to help you, I'll help you. Maybe he just wants to be rid of her. There is only one problem. And what is the problem? She is in the cells to the north, but there was a disruption. A mage slipped her shackles. Summoned some pests. We had to close the gates, and I Lorera is still up there. I will have the gate open for you. Do what you want. I just don't want to know about it. Please, I have simply followed my orders. Um, no, oh, all those wretches are dead. I guess I must have already killed them. Yep. You tell Mamora the tale. He nods, quite pleased. You work on some requisition forms together, and then I brings you a newly made scarab and a pouch of gold. That was a good beginning. I have more work, if you have the time. Anything else I can do for you? Yes, as I said, we have an unusual problem. There is a prisoner in the central cave. We can't question it. We can't release it. It doesn't want to go. I need someone to drive it out. It is an infernal nade, Pinkinica. It is in the middle of the great central cave. I will have the gates open for you. So what is the central cave normally used for? Anything we need, anytime, anything we need a lot of room for. We've stored war beasts there, whole tribes or wretches. A few years ago, it was even a hospital for a wounded dragon. Right now, we put troublesome prisoners there, like infernals. So, how did an infernal end up here? Some Taiwani a spy snuck into Hoklandia and summoned it. Our hands raided his tower and killed the mage. Then they put the infernal in silver chains and brought it here. We couldn't question it. Our spells won't don't work. We want to drive it out, but it won't go. So this was in Abaddon 2, where there was an infernal, but he was stuck between realms, between his realm and our realm. How did they get him loose from that? That's interesting. Hmm. How can I drive... I don't think he gave us his name then, because that doesn't even look familiar. Um, Pi, Pi Kinton out. You are the hand. Do whatever you want. Just keep it from destroying the masonera. We don't need more repairs to do. Okay. So did I end up with the quest? Oh, that's right. I think he was already on the dungeon cleanup. I'm Amora. Okay. Despair in the dark. That's just so sad. See, on these, I've got all these here <sighs> that are still in the Green Refuge. Okay, so we are just going to go exploring some more. 
I assume this quest tag, the Black Fortress, is where I, Lorera, is at. Kitchen. Oh, I remember correct, there are no switches on any of these. I'm not saying that they couldn't add one later on for this one, but I'm pretty sure there were no switches anywhere. Hmm. Another set of stairs up. I don't remember them having another set of stairs going up here. That's new. I'm pretty sure of that. Like I said, I've been down here several times, so... I would know that. Still carrying. That's interesting. Hmm. So is that going to come in handy somewhere sometime? I don't have the key. It should have something on it. Okay. Now this is not yours and I won't take it because it's not mine. But I'll take that because it doesn't say not yours. You left your boots on the floor. They're mine now. This huge cave served as a low security prison storage. Unthreatening or broken prisoners were sorted here until they could be disposed of. Something went wrong, though. The inmates rioted, and the guards withdrew. The stew bowl in front of you is empty. The prisoners must be hungry. You can see the, the hulking, clumsy movements of ogres in the shadows to the northeast. They haven't noticed you yet. With any luck, they haven't eaten Ilera yet. <laughs> no, no, don't eat her! Okay, I suppose I better save. Hmm, I'm wondering if I should just go ahead and I think I will. We got a long ways to go yet. We got all here and down here and we got the dry or the inferno in the middle of all this. So um, I'm going to go ahead and close up this episode and when we start we're going to go try to see if we can find I, Lerera, 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 whatever her name is, um, before the ogres do. If you enjoyed this episode click like leave a comment thank you so much for watching Sahara out